In honor of Black History Month, today I would like to tell you all some facts about baseball legend, sports icon, and renowned American hero, Jackie Robinson. Robinson was born in 1919 in Cairo, Georgia, and was an African-American baseball player, taking the nation by storm in their Negro Leagues of Professional Baseball, making a strong impact with his consistent batting skills and absurd speed on the base paths. Robinson's talent did not go unnoticed, as the Brooklyn Dodgers, now known as the Los Angeles Dodgers, were looking to add new talent to their team, and general manager Branch Rickey gave Robinson an opportunity in the major leagues, signing him to a contract on April 10th of 1947. Up to this point, Major League Baseball had never had an African-American player ever in the history of the sport, and Robinson's on-field presence with the team was met with lots of hatred and skepticism by not just fans and spectators, but of his teammates as well, with questions surrounding his safety and how he would adjust to the high level of play that was Major League Baseball. Robinson proceeded to put all these doubts to rest, finishing fifth in most valuable player voting and first in the Rookie of the Year race for that year. For the remainder of his 10-year career in the Major Leagues, Robinson only continued to produce, playing for Brooklyn for the ensuing nine seasons and bringing the Dodgers their first ever World Series championship in 1955. Outside of the baseball field, Robinson was a four-sport athlete at UCLA during his college days and most notably served in the U.S. military from 1942 to 1944, being honorably discharged due to an ankle injury he suffered during combat. Jackie Robinson's legacy forever lives on as a pivotal figure in not only sports history, but a barrier breaker in American history as a whole, still inspiring a magnitude of people to this day, and his impact on the sports world will be felt for as long as the human race is around. Have you lost anything recently? If so, come down to the Lost and Found in the main office. You only have till Tuesday, February 28th to get your lost items before they are donated or thrown away. So come ASAP. Experiencing a national epidemic as millions of Americans suffer from eating disorders. And while these illnesses are serious, even life-threatening, the good news is they are treatable. So if you or someone you love is struggling with an eating disorder, you are not alone. The National Eating Disorders Association is dedicated to helping individuals in the grips of this complex health crisis. For support resources and treatment options, contact nationaleatingdisorders.org forward slash helpline. Follow the safety procedures, close your lock your doors. Students, if you have a pass, you may proceed to class. If you don't, you need to go to the nearest sweep area. At this time, we are conducting a hall sweep. It's been a week since the new rules. With these changes, people are wondering, what are the sweep zones really like? Using state-of-the-art hidden camera equipment, we went on an undercover mission to find out. Okay, so it's Julie and Vivian, and we're about to get swept into the sweep zone. Okay, guys. Don't put your cameras away now. So we walked around for a couple minutes. It was 1.42. Class had started. But for some reason, we couldn't get swept. And then it finally happened. Where are y'all going? You guys have passes, you gotta go right in there. Yeah. Busted. Busted? Come on in, the watch is warm. Go to the right. This is the principal we yell at you. Okay. So we talked to the assistant principal, who's known to the sweat as the woman with the passes. Miss Dean. Where do you want to go, Miss Irving? Wait, 
We gave her our numbers, and she wrote us a pass. And just like that, we were free. I want to be the first and last time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Success. Success. We got our passes. passes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Watch out for those sweeps, and join us next time on Broadcast Undercover.